Hello and welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by Jawan.com. and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this really cool looking 3D effect applied to this shape and this is going to be a really cool and quick tutorial and I think you'll find yourself using this effect a lot and you can apply this to just about anything that you want so again if this tutorial is helpful to you please comment rate and subscribe so I'm going to go ahead and minimize this and we'll get started so first thing first hit control N to create a new document and we are going to make our width 250 and the height 250 have color color mode set to RGB and then press enter so the first thing we need to do is uh, change our foreground color to a really dark gray so we're gonna hit 3d 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 that's gonna be the dark gray that I want now we're gonna hit alt backspace in order to fill this background with gray next we're gonna hit D in order to re reset our foreground color to black so now we are going to choose the custom shape tool and we want to use this star shape that I already have selected right here in order to find the star shape you're gonna need you're going to need to click on the right arrow and go down to shapes that's where that this particular shape is located so now we are going to drag out that shape and we're going to hold the shift key in order to keep in order to constrain proportions and you drag that out and it automatically fills with black which was your your foreground color okay so next we are going to distort this in order to make it looks like to make it look like it's laying on its back so just um, hit control T and then you're going to right click right click and then choose distort and we're going to start playing with this in order to make it look uh, as if it's lying on its back so just go ahead and drag that in a little bit and drag this in a lot and in order to do perspective in order to make something look like it's you know laying on his back or on his side you just kinda have to distort it and then your mind to tell you once you got it right hey that looks like it's laying down on your back because you know you see it all your life just walking around and living a while you your mind will tell you hey that looks like it's laying on his back and as soon as you you uh, have that then just leave it alone because sometimes you can try to tweak it too much and then it just really looks like garbage kinda like I'm doing right now tweaking it too much but to me it doesn't look like it's lying on its back yet so I'm gonna try to get it until it does and I think I I think I yep that looks pretty good to me so I'm going to press enter okay so next thing we're going to do is go to filter stylize and emboss and it's gonna tell us that we need to rasterize this so we're gonna click OK because we do and so we want to have your angle set to 135 your height set to 5 and your amount set to 75 like I already have here and then press OK or press enter next select your move tool and then press alt and then press up 10 to 12 times so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 by pressing by holding down the alt key and pressing up you're actually making a, a copy of that and each copy uh, is moved up by one pixel so that's what we're actually looking at right now so now we need to go ahead and merge all of those extra layers that we created together so go ahead and click on your top layer and hit control E 12 times so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve okay so we got that done so next we're going to create a new layer and this layer is going to be for our color so we're going to name that color okay so now we are going to control click on the shape layer below on the and make sure that you control click on control click on the thumbnail just like that and as you can see we have we now have a selection outline surrounding that so now we are going to apply a gradient to this by going uh, we're just going to click on the gradient tool and we're going to click on the bar above and we're going to go ahead and change the color now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this down so that when I start so that when I see my color picker I can make sure that the colors are similar now I did a blue one earlier but now this time I think I'll do green again so for the one on the left I'm gonna have kind of a dark green actually I, I like the one that's there already so I'll click on OK 
and now I'll click on the one on the right and we will give this one a lighter saturated type uh, green and I want to be able to look at this to make sure that uh, the greens are similar and let's see that looks go well, that, no, that looks pretty good to me so I'm gonna click on OK and click on OK again so now we are going to just drag this gradient from the top right to the bottom left just like so excuse me the top left to the bottom right and there we go we have applied our subtle gradient to this so next just go to blending options and we're going to go down to color in order to make that emboss come back through and, and make it look like we want it okay so we got that done so next we're going to hit control D in order to deselect that shape and we're going to hit control E in order to move that in order to merge that color layer and the shape layer together okay so now I'm going to hit we're going to click on the background color and this time I'm going to hit control and backspace in order to fill the the background layer with the background color in this case was white if you hit alt backspace you would fill it with the foreground color and control backspace fills it with the background color like I've just did, done so now we're going to click on the shape layer again actually we're going to double click on that and we're going to choose drop shadow and now we're going to give it a drop shadow now the quickest and easiest way to give something the drop shadow you want is just by dragging it out instead of messing with those settings in the dialog box just drag it out like so to make it look like it's floating again your mind to tell you when it looks right there we go so I'm going to bring down this, the opacity of that shadow because that's a little bit too dark for a white background there you go so we are done I'm gonna click on OK and that's exactly how you how you create this and you can apply this same effect to anything you want make some really nice uh, logos and if you you can do this in a really high dot per pixel resolution if you want and print it out on t-shirts business cards whatever you want so again if you like this tutorial please comment rate and subscribe and don't forget to visit Jawan.com you get the spare time and have a beautiful day thank you very much